question for you. What is the difference between AM and FM radio? Well, AM stands for amplitude modulation and FM stands for frequency modulation. But beyond the words, what does it actually mean? Well, AM, amplitude modulation, is represented in the top graph here. What it means is when I speak into the microphone and it's sent out into the air as an electromagnetic wave, the information is actually carried by changing the amplitude. The amplitude is the height of the wave. So you see how the wave is taller here, but shorter here and taller here and so on and so forth? So as I speak louder and more softly, that information is going out into the air as an electromagnetic wave carried by the changes in the amplitude in corresponding lockstep with the changes in my voice. Now, frequency modulation actually sounds a lot better for reasons we'll talk about, but it's basically carrying the information in, not in the changes of the amplitude. Notice the wave is the same height all the time, but in frequency modulation, the frequency changes. So here we have a low frequency, and over here we have a higher frequency, and it gets a little bit more to a lower frequency. So in the amplitude, AM case, when I talk louder, louder, quieter, quieter, it changes the height of the wave, but in FM, as I talk louder, louder, quieter, quieter to quieter, it slightly shifts the frequency uh, in, in time in lockstep with the actual voice you're trying to transmit, and that's how it's transmitted and the information is carried differently. Now, what are the main differences? Well, AM radio can actually travel farther for reasons I'll talk about in a second, but it's much more susceptible to noise, so it doesn't sound as crisp or as nice. FM sounds a lot better, but it can only transmit for shorter distances, maybe 50 miles or so, whereas AM can go for 100 or 200 miles, and at nighttime, it can actually uh, very effectively bounce off of the ionosphere. The AM frequencies are low enough to be able to do that, so they can go up to maybe 1,000 miles. And basically, there's a plasma layer called the ionosphere above the uh, atmosphere there, and that plasma reflects the low frequencies better than it reflects the high frequencies which pass through. Now, if you ever listen to AM radio, it just doesn't sound as good, especially like in a thunderstorm. You'll hear lots of uh, interference and noise. And that's because any electrical interference there, like a thunder or, or a, a lightning strike or something like this, will uh, produce electrical noise that will directly make the amplitude change on the carrier wave. And you'll hear that in your speakers. And so because FM doesn't operate that way, it's not so susceptible to that. Also, because the AM can reflect off the ionosphere, it's a lot more susceptible to multipath interference, which you hear is that weird sound in AM. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.